looking for eternity. This is acrylic on canvas. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all acrylic on canvas. And as you can see, they're uh, many times larger than the cards um, because the reduction process has a, a, a positive uh, enhancing effect of its own. And I apologize if some light from the window might be backlighting this painting. It looks very clear. And I just want to say how exciting it is that you're sharing the paintings themselves, because even on the screen, there is a different feeling about them. It's exciting to see them. So thank you. Yeah. So um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here, but the concept of eternity uh, is a little bit frightening. Um, it conjures up a feeling of death, of what is beyond life. Hmm. Um, and so I, I wanted to um, make the figure into um, a kernel of a figure, a sort of uh, fetus, uh, a fetal position um, as we are alone and facing the afterlife as we um, approach eternity. And then um, the, the waves, the concentric waves around the figure suggest a, um, an enlargement beyond form, an expansion and an enlargement beyond form, which is something I felt happening to me periodically as a child. Mm. Um, I used to lay in bed and feel that I was expanding beyond the boundaries of my body. It was a very strange feeling. Wow. Mm. Um, so I, I, I allow these associations to infuse my work as much as possible. Mm. Um, and then the moth came to me as often happens, something comes to me, uh, right when I'm thinking about a painting sometime in the next day or week or two, another piece will come to me. And if I watch for it, there it is. Um, I had climbed a year ago, uh, West Kill Mountain here in the Catskills. Um, it's almost 4,000 feet high. It's a, um, a pretty challenging hike. And on the top of the mountain, my friends and I came across this beautiful moth, mm. this size, this is the actual size of the moth. Um, and it was just sitting on the forest floor and it was, it was moving its wings up and down, up and down slowly. I was so intrigued. I took a video of it. I thought about it and I realized, you know, moths are creatures of the night. They're drawn to the light. Oh. So many stories of people being drawn to the light after they leave their bodies. Yes. Um, and I just, it just felt right that this woman, <laughs> that these uh, wavy patterns um, expanding beyond her body could re-manifest in the wings of the moth. So I put similar patterns in the wings of the moth. And of course, the darkness opens to the light. So the darkness kind of forms uh, an enveloping enclosure, but it opens to the light. Mm. So that's the story also, behind that storytelling yeah. image. I'm also seeing the containment moving into the uncontained. Yes. You know, finite container moving into what goes beyond the boundaries of the painting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for adding that.